Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, wherever the fuck you are in the world. Um, hasn't really been an uh, easy morning. It's, um, it's been quite difficult waking up to the passing of Anthony Bourdain. It really killed me because if you guys know me, he was definitely a big, big influence in who I am as a person and my goals. And really been sad this morning. Really, really sad. But on better news, I have someone coming over. This really unexpected. He's coming over and he's presenting me a painting, which is supposed to be of me. I've yet to see it in person, only pictures and videos. So it should be really dope and interesting. And I'm gonna surprise him as I get down to eighth floor. I had no idea I'm coming down with the camera and I wanna see the facial expression. Artists looking out for artists. I fucking love it. All right, guys, stay tuned. Down to the eighth floor we go. Bang. Yo, what's good, guys? Oh shit, it's covered. Woo. What's good, my man? Ready for the Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Likewise. Yeah, bro, I'm ready. <laughs> Yo, your food is like amazing, bro. Yeah, you like fresh it's meals, man. You it's definitely them. fresh. It's gotta like I gotta be on the healthy tip, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so the man with the plan, bro. What's up? What's up? My name is Fendi. I go by the name Alchemist. Alchemist Art. Just a regular guy next to paint, bro. And you have here, I know you've been teasing me with some pictures online and videos, and here it is in person. Oh snap, the unveiling. Oh no, there it is. Oh shit! <laughs> Bro, that is sick, bro. Oh my god, look at the detailing on it. That is fucking dope. Yo, I f right? That's sick. Yo, man, I appreciate that. Yo, that is sick. I can't wait to hang that in my fucking house, bro. Yo, what do you think, man? Hey, man. That's, that's, yo, my man, you're a fucking genius, dude. Definitely. That is crazy. Even the detailing on my fucking chain, bro, with the little pig getting tattooed. Oh, he picked up on the mom thing, bro. I always put mom on all my little guys. That's <laughs> sick. That's a clean that you know? Yeah, man. All the flamingos in the background. Yo, this is fucking sick, bro. Like, I'm like, that's going right in my fucking house. Yo, you fucking killed it. I can't fucking thank you enough, bro. You guys got to follow him. The link is going to be in the description. Check him out. I feel like every important person needs a painting of themselves yeah. in their house. <laughs> like, like back then, so like this is definitely going in my unit. Yo, once again, bro, you're fucking dope, bro. Thanks, man. Oh, and there's a back message. Thank you so much for inspiring me and motivating me to keep going forward in this journey of mine. You're truly one of my greatest influence. Thank you, Corsa. Oh, well, this is fucking dope, man. Thank you. That means a lot, bro. Real talk. I love it, dude. So it's only right we gathered up with the homies. And we're gonna pay our respects and dues to Anthony Bourdain and we're gonna check out one of the restaurants He came out here when he was in Los Angeles for some dumplings. I believe what you got on your phone Or Swadesh go curries. With, let's go with the, the second one. I guess All right. we got to go with the whole like curry Don Jang, experience. The Koji tracks the dumplings or Swadesh This episode went from a meet and greet of him presenting some artwork to Anthony Bourdain's spots that he came out here to Los Angeles. So we are currently at the restaurant. Don, like, I don't know how to pronounce that. Shine, you're gonna try. But yeah, you get the point. That. And we are here. Super authentic. This is amazing. Yo, hey, try to ask for the same table he sat at. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh my Jesus. Yeah, we're trying to. Um, we're tr this is it? Yeah, we're trying to eat at the same yeah. place that Anthony Bourdain ate. Yeah, Anthony Bourdain, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is exactly where Anthony Bourdain ate, which should be interesting. I think Anthony Bourdain probably sat on this side where I'm at. Damn. Man, bro, sick. this is the private room where Ew, Anthony yeah. Bourdain was set up. It's only right, it's only right, guys. It's only right, it's only right. It's only right. Yes. We want to order everything that Anthony Bourdain ordered. What was it? Point slap. Yeah, everything that Anthony Bourdain ordered. He ate bulgogi and, uh, and the ribeye, right? Oh, and the uh, ribeye. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then kimchi pie, right? Okay. Oh, okay. We'll do those three then. Yeah, we'll do that. How was it? I saw you on the, on the episode eating with him. How? 
Yeah, he's a wonderful guy, man. I cook, I cook, and that's the reason I cook is you know he influences him. This guy, he's a very well-known artist, so you know we're out here paying respect. Yeah. There's a lot of people. ABC News was here. Yeah. And earlier this afternoon, wow. they were here asking about it. Damn. He definitely brought awareness to like Asian food, especially. Yeah. yeah. He brought a lot of yeah. awareness to yeah. Vietnamese, yeah. Korean food, Thai food. Yes. I traveled. I traveled Vietnam. I went to all the places that he went to over there: Singapore, Thailand, all that. Just to eat. Spice. Yeah. 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 That's what spice he really liked. It. You could tell he enjoyed food. Yeah. yeah. Let me hear one. But I tell him he's a straight shooter. Yeah. He says what's on his mind. You don't like it. Too bad. Yeah. That's that. why everybody loves him. Yep. Yeah. And I respect him for that. Yeah. If he came in here and said my food was shitty, hey, I respect him. Yeah. 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 For saying that, but yeah. some people don't. They take offense to. Yeah. It, you know, because he's a culinary. Yeah. Person, you know? I mean, it's how many tech. how many people you know on the Food Network or whatever? How many are actually culinary? Yeah. A lot of them are self Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Learn from somebody else. He's but he's original old school. French yeah. cooking, like and he was from the Yeah. He was drinking here since eleven and look at the size of those things. Yeah. I love it. I might have to kill one by myself. I'm not driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to kill one by myself. Oh man. I I am starting my workout but I will have a beer today. <laughs> tribute. A tribute. Drink. Tribute to Mr. Bourdain. Enjoy, Jeremy. Thank, Thank you. you. Anything, just push that button. I love the whole experience. Oh, yeah. This is Bunch amazing. I might have to hand you over my camera later so you can record angles with me. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, cheers to Mr. Bourdain. Cheers, man. To influencing and changing our lives. Sure did. Cheers. May you rest in a better place. Here we are. What do we happen to have here? What is this? Ribeye special. Ribeye, ribeye special, okay. And I'm gonna keep enjoying this beer. That was really funny. Uh, we have this amazing food in front of us that we're gonna have to cook in a few. So it's gonna be really interesting. This whole experience. Got a nice little sizzle going. Such an artist. Oh. Look at you. A little design pattern. I just interviewed the guy, which it sucks because I was like I was recording him, not showing my face, but we got the guy. And giving his point of view, he shared a very intimate moment with Anthony Bourdain here. I think all of us in the culinary world, whether it's the art world, whether just in the world in general is really hurt right now with this passing. And all we can do is not dwell, but remember the memories that he brought us joy to us by coming here, which he said, a lot of people might not get along, but if you're able to share a piece of bread or a piece of food with someone, you will find out who your real friends are. And we are here with my friends um, having a meal and we're enjoying it to the fullest honestly and we're so thankful that same way Anthony Bourdain has departed from Earth today uh, he has brought a lot of us together and I hope to travel and I got a refill and we're here cheers my friend that looks amazing it said he was drinking since 11 o'clock in the morning that day so I'm gonna see how many I can take on. Shout out Rice? to the LA Dodgers. Yes. Rice? Yes. So yeah, we're going the same rotation he had. So he started off with this. We're going the same rotation he had here. Uh, working our way to the other piece of meat over there. The bulgogi. The bulgogi, which is bulgogi everywhere is fire. So I'm yeah. really dying to try that out. Working his way to the fried rice. We have some steamed rice here. The soup is great. And just continue getting fucked up. And of course, you can't forget the bancha. Yes. Yeah, so this right here was for the fried rice. Prepared right here in house. Phenomenal. Punishment for Koreans. That's, yeah. a, that's a punishment. And with the book over your head. For hours. Bukum bak. Basically, kimchi fried rice, but it fries into the pan like paella or so many great rice dishes where that outer layer of crispy stuff is just the best. Chili sauce. Chili sauce, nice, okay. Nice. Korean chili sauce. Korean, yeah, that's really thick. Yeah, that's the good stuff. It's sweet. 
This is delicious. This is like, I already see it. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah, that's all I think it's David Chang. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you. It's amazing. 40 years. You've been here for 40 years, you said? Yeah. My wow. restaurant's been here for 40 years in the same location. But prior to that, my grandfather had it in Korea since 1945. My father brought it over here. So it's th it was passed down generation to generation. Um, do you have a kid yourself? Yeah, but he won't. Probably. He won't. He won't inherit it. I don't want him to work. Sixteen hours a day. It's. I respect that. Yeah. Sixteen hours a day. Yeah, I'm usually here about sixteen hours. Wow. Wow. Dude, that's geez. why I asked him before he came here because I wanted to see how Korea is now. Yeah. Still it was crazy, man. Like people were like all the Korean owners were on top of the building with shotguns. And I know. Because like, yeah. at that point the. Po more fake. Yeah. <laughs> more toy guns. yeah. Oh really? That building right there, we knew a couple, we knew the owner that had the appliance store there. You know, how many people actually own shotguns or... Yeah. It's true. I agree. It's weird how they were doing that because people were actually, you know, losing everything here, right? But those people went back home. You know, they, they stole what they wanted and went back home. But who had to deal with it? The, owners, the locals. The owners and the people who actually, you know, use that store for everyday convenience. Yeah. You know, a lot of the liquor stores were protected by the people that lived in that area. Mm -hmm. They helped them, you know. The ones that didn't burn down was the ones that helped the yeah. owners protect them. Yeah. Well, I'm glad your restaurant's still up and running and this experience is absolutely phenomenal. I love this experience. You guys need some Thank more you. Ice water We're actually going to go with another yeah, one of those beers. Another beer, please? Okay. Yes, please. I need some more water. Yes, thanks. Thank you. I didn't know he wanted to shoot here either. Mm -hmm. It was everything was confidential. Mm -hmm. I can once I found the only reason I found out is after I signed the confidentiality. Uh -huh. No way! So first, like, hey, you gotta sign this before we yeah, even speak they, about they it. Said it. It is gonna be a very famous person that's gonna come here, but they wouldn't tell me, and I had to sign the confidentiality. And I signed yeah. it, and I didn't tell nobody. I didn't even tell my parents. I didn't tell my family. I told wow. Them. But I know a restaurateur that did tell everybody. Uh -huh. Oh, man. That was messed up. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a reason why you sign confidentiality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know? they can come back and yeah. sue you. Sue you for that. Yeah, yeah. big time. Yeah. Did you guys, like, were able to get a picture with him? Yeah, I, I was able to get a picture with him. Do you have that picture here by any chance? Like frame or something? No, I don't have a frame. You don't, you don't have, have a frame? frame. <laughs> you know, I'm not like those. Yeah, yeah, oh, they yeah. display it all over the restaurants. Park barbecue. No, <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Parsons Barbecue, barbecue has yeah, all their celebrities that walk yeah, in. I don't do that because you know what? Celebrities like need, to come places. Yes, need to eat in privacy, just like anybody else. They just want to be a regular person. When yeah. it's time to eat, they want to be a regular person. Yeah. Yes. This booth right here. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we were cleared out. We didn't sit where he sat at. He sat at that booth, but there was people eating. Where you definitely weren't gonna shoot in there. But at least he was nice enough to point out where he sat at, and it's awesome. And just like that, we wrap up this episode. <laughs> we had a good time. Yes, sir. Rest in peace to a god, a legend, and hopefully I could follow up in his footsteps. And travel. I definitely am going to travel. I'm going to find a cheaper place to live at, and I am going to travel. Take care. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe. You got the behind-the-scenes interview, which pretty much no one has. So you got to see the owner himself. We're gonna add footages of him sitting down with Bourdain eating. He was nice enough. There's a lot of stuff that we kept, we kept off the records on purpose because it's polite. We didn't want to just record everything, some intimate moments he had with him. So that's how you gonna make it onto YouTube. But we did something that I think no one's done so far, and we got it from the man himself. All right, guys. To the next one. Take care. Love. Peace. Love. Slots. Slot gang. We out. This episode started with what I thought was just going to be a simple unveiling, turned into something completely different. With the sudden abroad passing of Anthony Bourdain, I felt to myself that I owed it to him and his fans. No one saw this coming. Just last week, I was showing my friends that I had no idea who he was about his show and how he changed all of our lives. To think four days later, I'll be sitting down with the same friends talking about he killed himself, a potential suicide. Depression is a motherfucker. It is an instant killer, as well as silent. A cloud that follows you like the cartoons, but no one sees coming besides you. 
If you have friends, family members, or loved ones, or even complete strangers on social media continue to isolate themselves from others, posting subliminal messages or depressing posts, reach out for help. Call the suicide hotline. It takes a lot of courage, but you are not alone, for I myself have gone through it. Man. Anthony Bourdain. What can I say about the man? Besides how he let all of us into his home with open arms. He shared those intimate moments with us. From sharing foods with complete strangers to traveling parts of the world that I, myself, and others, and including himself, had no idea. Anthony taught us worrying too much on little things is quite frankly quite stupid. Life is complicated. It's filled with nonsense. It's unsatisfying. If I believe in anything, it is doubt. The root cause of all life's problems. Looking for a simple fucking answer. Those are the words of Anthony Bourdain. This episode, we sit down with Roy Kim, owner of the restaurant. And quite honestly, we did not expect this whatsoever. The man genuinely sat down with us and shared beloved memories on and off the camera with Anthony Bourdain and his experience, how his father handed him down the restaurant, as well as his grandfather passing it on to his father. It's unfortunate that we lost a man like Anthony Bourdain, a very good soul that was tormented at one point. And quite frankly, we can't blame him. We don't know what was going through his mind that day. But I will leave you with these words. Maybe that's enlightenment enough to know that there is no final resting place of the mind. No moment of smug clarity, perhaps wisdom. As you move through this life and this world, you change things slightly. You leave marks behind, however small. And in return, life and travel leaves marks on you. Most of the time, those marks on your body or on your heart are beautiful. Often, they hurt. Anthony Bourdain, dead at 61. We will miss you, man. If you or anyone you know is considering suicide or self-harm, please, please, I beg you, call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Or if you just don't have what it takes to talk on the phone, please text the crisis hotline, 741-741. Thank you for checking in. I love you. And may he live in all our memories. And right before you ever think that you don't have enough money and that you're not happy and that you need all this gratification from people, say fuck it. Buy a one-way ticket to somewhere. Do something weird. Eat something weird. It's something he would have wanted us to do. Enjoy life to the fullest, for tomorrow's never promised. Goodbye, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode.